Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I'm back with Defame Remember and this time I'm at number 19. Yeah, let me just check. Yep, 19, Nature's Treasure. So, nature. Um, I would have gone outside and um, gotten something appropriate but to be honest, there's nothing really treasurable. <laughs> outside at the moment so I didn't know what to do and then I actually looked through the crafty cupboard and um, I have come up with a plan of sorts um, so something I did ha find outside but a while back were these twigs because I saw someone on YouTube or, or Instagram or something making a journal and they used twigs obviously it's not it, it won't work here because this is already done and all closed in but they had used twigs to make their spine and had wrapped their pages round somehow I'll need to look it out again I saved it and, and somehow wrapped and made a journal and so I this must be about, oh, well over a year ago, went out and gathered a few twigs um, and I was going to do that project and of course it never happened. But one day, so I thought, right, I've got those twigs lying there and um, maybe I could do something with them. So what I thought was let's wrap something round. So I've dug out this um, feather, oh no, eyelash trim, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, so there's eyelash trim and there's what looks like a feather boa. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think it's real feathers. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I think I'm quite convinced that I'm not going to use this. No. That just is going to make it look too Shirley Bassey. So I think I will use this and maybe that brownie colour might be quite nice. So I've picked out this page to do it on because it's got butterflies on it already. And there's a map which is kind of naturey and the butterflies are kind of naturey. Um, so I was thinking just of adding one of the twigs just down the edge of the page somehow hoping that my glue will stick otherwise we will need to stitch it on somehow but I think that the glue will stick you know I think I'm maybe just wanting a little token gesture of that piece I think Okay, so I think if we do that, wrap some of this round, if I can get to the end. So, wrapping this just round the middle a bit. Yeah, outside, and plus it's a horrible day. I didn't really want to venture outside. Um, but there's nothing really, everything is all, the leaves are all mushy and trampled on and it's not the best time of year to, um, to gather from outside, so I didn't. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there to hold that end bit down so that it doesn't unravel I should maybe have done that at the beginning as well but it seems it seems quite quite well on now I wonder if we should just immediately while the glue is coming out the top of that looks quite good, dear, because then you can see that it's like a real, 
a real bit of um, twig. So let's just put plenty of this down there. And we can sit that there and let it maybe set for a bit. I wonder if I should use a clip. Just let's see. Well, that seems I want to clip the ends. Right, let's see if that's going to hold. In the meantime, I thought I would continue with the butterfly theme that's already going on on the page and I've picked out a few butterflies and I'm just going to do it super super easy as if it's somebody's collection. It's a collection of stamps with butterflies on it and I just thought that was super pretty. Let's just move them up a little bit so that I can get that bottom one in. There. And I think that's just actually quite nice. So I'm just going to go for that. So this is me on catch up again. <laughs> I was... You, I mentioned in one of the videos before that I wasn't really especially enjoying Defend My Ember this year. I don't know. And I got lots of positive comments. Thank you very much. It really did give me a boost. Very much appreciated. Um, so I've actually enjoyed um, number 18, the, the plaid and the polka dots. I thought that was a fun one and this one as it turns out is just going to be super easy so I'm quite enjoying that and, uh, and decided you know just don't be as don't be as hard on yourself that's what someone said on the on the comments and I think yeah you know it's all supposed to be fun and games So I have decided to continue on because I don't really like leaving a journal half done. I have done that in the past when I haven't enjoyed something and you know it sits on the shelf winking at me. It's like look you left me half done. That's not good enough. <laughs> so, oh, there's a twig in the floor. Let's just leave it. I was going to bend down and get it, but it's not going anywhere. Okay, so number 19, was it? Let me just double check again. Yes, 19. Never know if these are the nine or a six. I don't think it makes any difference actually, because there's, there's the, the both. Of, I wonder why they give you when it's just when they've just made them exactly the same. You do wonder. Oh well, well, maybe I don't know. I was going to say maybe it's because you can line up a, but I don't think. Anyway. I'm, Whittling on a bit here. I don't think there's room there. I'm going to use the little ones for this one. Mind you, I suppose this is the same. I suppose it's just for... Yeah, they're the same. Sometimes the six and the nine are different. Yeah, 
Um, yeah. 19. This is getting on. Oh, that's quite stuck. Yep. And I'm hoping that that just sticks out a little bit and doesn't cause too much chaos on my page edge. just comes through a little bit. <laughs> it's a bit random, but anyway. <laughs> there's, there's my man. <laughs> it reminds me of that episode in Friends where Ross is trying to play the bagpipes for um, a Chandler and Monica's wedding and um, and he's in front of their sofa and Phoebe's sitting and and he says right just join in and Phoebe makes the noise of the bagpipes that's quite funny <laughs> okay job done right yeah that's well stuck stuck enough anyway Okay, so thanks for joining me today and if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.